Hey guys, I'm Amy, and you've landed on Bella's Bargains. That's my cow, Effingham, and sometimes he co-hosts with me. He's got a lot to say. This channel is Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, and only Dollar Tree. And why? Because everything at the Dollar Tree is a dollar and a quarter, people. So stick around, consider subscribing, and don't forget to give me that big thumbs up. And if you want to know more about the four uploads I do every week, just check out the description box for more information. Enjoy! Oh yeah, I'll tell you something. I think you'll understand when I say that something. I wanna hold your hand. <laughs> Just a minute, Effingham. I wanna hold your hand. I wanna hold your hand. Oh, please say to me, well, let me be your man. And please say to me, I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. I want to hold your hand. And when I touch you, wow, him, you messed up the whole song. I lost my groove. And when I touch you, I feel happy inside. It's such a feeling that my love, it can't hide, it can't hide, it can't hide. Oh yeah, you got that something. I think you'll understand when I say that something. I want to hold your hoof. Doesn't work. I know. All right, guys, that's enough of that. Hey, welcome to Bella's Bargains. My name is Amy. So I'm on a Beatles kick. For those of you that watch my channel, you know this. And uh, Effingham always tries to interject and then messes up my whole song. But no recuts because that's not any fun. It's just way more fun to watch me do it and mess it up, isn't it? Let's be honest. All right, hey, you guys have landed on Holla for your dollar haul. Holla for your dollar haul. By the way, so I've been getting messages lately like, um, hey, I landed on your singing and I stuck around, whatever. So for those of you that are new, because my channel is growing pretty decently right now because of all the challenges. Um, so I literally start every song with, a, every video with song. Do you want to know why? Not because I think I'm an amazing singer. Not because I think you should all hear me sing. It's because it makes me different. And yes, I can carry a tune. Doesn't mean I'm a good singer, but I can carry a tune. So See, when you're doing something like this in YouTube and you're trying to get to be out there and get a successful channel, you gotta be a little bit different. So that's my thing. And besides that, I wanna hold your hand. I wanna hold your hand. I wanna hold your hand. And I'm on a Beatles kick. All right, let's dive in because I don't have a huge haul here and I don't even have anything really spectacular. It's lots of little interesting things. You know how this goes. All right, so this one... This isn't a very big ticket either. It was um, $66.25 before tax. How many items is that? It's about that many. All right, so let's dive in. I always start with food. By the way, if one more thing. If you're new to the channel, I do Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree, Dollar Tree. Effingham, tell them why I do Dollar Tree because everything at the Dollar Tree is a, and a, a dollar and a quarter. Well, not quite, but for the most part, it still is. All right, so... Um, I just don't want to go shopping to 15 other stores because as it is, I spend enough time at the Dollar Tree. And if I went to Michael's and I went to Hobby Lobby and I went to Joanne's Fabrics, and um, I don't know that I would ever have time to craft or do anything else. So I just go to the Dollar Tree. And then I just have fun, I have fun finding and hunting for the things that I'm looking for. All right, so here we go. Let's dive in. Start with food. Um, rebuy hot sauce because Marcus loves it. I do always buy all their different hot sauces. So this one is proudly US made and it's pantry basics and it's hot sauce with cayenne peppers. Marks likes a good hot sauce. That's why he married me. <laughs> I know, I like to make myself laugh. Okay, moving right along. This is another thing I bought from Marcus, which is also a hot pepper sauce. And this is that wild fair shot of Shada sauce, Shada, it's called. Anyway, it's very, it's really good. I don't think it's gonna be around long. Like the spaghetti sauce by that other company. 
You know, sometimes these foods come in and then they go. So I hadn't seen it at some of my regular stores and I went to an off, another store I don't go to very often. Which one was this one? Oh, it was on Guadalupe Road in Mesa, Arizona. And I don't go into that one very often and they still had it there. So, um, so I grabbed a couple bottles. And then two new things. Because it's a pretty color blue. No, I mean, it just, I don't really buy candy. But I was like, am I, am, am I losing it? I don't think I've ever seen these. Oops, I'm dropping them. I've never seen these before. Have you guys? Blueberry pomegranate. Hold on, I'll try those for you. I'm going to try two things for you today, actually. So this is the other one, which is this accelerator bite. It's Kiwi Lime Accelerator. This is, I'm moving my light. Move, Mr. Light. You know, I set it all up. I try it, and I think it looks fine, and then I get here, and it's like, no, it's not. That's way better, isn't it? Almost. These shiny things don't work. Okay, so this is natural caffeine. It accelerates your metabolism, plant-based thermogenics, and active energy. So there's only 10 calories in the whole thing. I know these are not a buck 25. They're more, and we're going to try one. It's got a pretty little can, too. I kind of like it. But this is the one that's supposed to, it's natural caffeine to increase your endurance. But um bum Ocean minerals for your electrolytes and plant-based thermogenics. So, which is perfect because we've gone vegan. All right, I'm gonna try both these things because I have a cold one of these in the fridge, which I will grab right now. Look at that, oh, it's nice and cold. I feel like a shopping show. Okay, so first of all, let's try these um, blueberry pomegranates. I mean, I don't know. I like, I like licorice licorice, but it's super dark, dark purple color. It's 30. <laughs> oh, no. I dropped it. It's 30 calories per piece. I mean, it's okay, you guys. I'll end up eating these. Because it's fat-free. And it's vegan, because it says so right there. <laughs> um, It's pretty good, actually. You know what? That's really good. Hmm. I might have to get more of those. Very blueberry for sure. Pomegranate is a hard flavor like to pinpoint, isn't it? I probably have liquors in my teeth now, huh? Mm. Okay, anyway. That's really good. Yeah. Maybe. I might get some more of those. All right, let's try the Kiwi Lime Accelerator. So this is... Um, it's vegan, like I said. It's 12 fluid ounces... I'm trying to figure out where it's made. Mm -mm. Manufactured by, for a shock beverage out of Newport Beach. Well, of course it is. It's the Newport Beach diet. <laughs> Remember that, you guys? All right, we ready? Let's go. Mm, okay. I hope it's not because of the wallaby. Is that what they're called, wallabies? Yeah, Willie, Wiley Wallaby. I don't know. Mm, vodka. <laughs> I, sorry. Still vegan. It's potato. Oh my gosh. I will buy more of these. Wow. You guys, that might be my favorite like energy drink I've tried there. You know, Marcus always likes them. I'm always like, yeah, it's okay. I'm gonna finish this today. Mmm. It's a good kiwi lime mix. Wow. Good thing I bought two cases of it. <laughs> I did. I did. They were there. They had them like stacked. They were they were pulling them out and they had a stack of them. So I grabbed two. Okay, wow. All right. I really do like that. Well, and it's supposed to be good for me. All right, let's keep moving right along, right? Jax, I swear to God, this dog has like he's like sniffing it out. Came running over to me as soon as I was standing here. So I got him more of these. Why? Because they're not going to be around long. Because it's a brand name. He loves them. They're super good. They seem to be fine for him. I mean, that's what they say. Yeah, I don't know. So um, so I grabbed two more of those. And he absolutely loves them. So we're going to whip one out right now. Come here, Jax. You want one? So every morning. We're working on tricks, you know, all the time. So... This, uh, the, my newest one is go get your ball and then drop it. 
This isn't the kind of treat that I can teach him that with, but I'm just curious. Go get your ball. Can you go get your ball? So he's dancing. I don't want you to dance. Go get your ball. If I put my hand up like this, he thinks that means dance because sign language works with animals. All right, all right, come here. Come here, you want it? Come here, babies. Come here, sweetie. Here you go. Okay, ready, you guys. He loves these. He's like, there it is. There, that's it. Is this good? Is that good? Hmm? Is that good? I know. You're like, Mom, do I get Okay, here you go. Go. He just wants to run off with it. So, you guys, if you have dogs and cats, I mean, you should really keep an eye on that on that animal aisle, especially the dog the dog ones. Like, those waffle and donut ones I got the other day. Sharon sent me a text her. What were they, like, for something at Walmart? I mean, a message or a comment. Anyway, there, I'm always finding stuff there. And then and when I find a good one that he really likes, if I see it again, I buy more. I don't buy a ton. I only bought two, right? Okay, so there's that. And then, um, let's see. This is for Marcus. Now, if you watched my haul last time, for his girlfriend, Pepper. Have you heard about his girlfriend, Pepper? The Harley Davidson that's his midlife crisis? <laughs> I'm salt. She Peppa. So, um, but he got really chap on his face and his lips when we went riding last, whenever it was. And so I bought him a chapstick. But then when I brought it home and I took it out, I was like, that's just going to melt. This won't. Because it's like a little like tin thing or plastic or whatever, and it screws on. So I got this for his motorcycle so that he has stuff for his lips and and also his cheeks, you know, just because it gets chapped in the wind. He's very sensitive like to that, which you would never guess because he's full of hair. Yeah. All right. So then um, I went down the book aisle because you know I love to go down the book aisle. And this one is called... Um, under the aardvark, a novel, and, uh, it was normally $26, doesn't matter. I bought it for the white, because it's white, <laughs> that's all I bought it for. Um, so I'm pretty sure I can either cover this up or paint over it, but when you have a book like this, it's screaming for decoupage or for, I'm thinking like shabby chic, those rub-on transfers are gonna rub on perfectly to this and the Dollar Tree ones that are the the shabby chic ones, it's just gonna look amazing on this book. And so I just grabbed one because it's just rare to get all white, just FYI, like it, that's pretty rare. So I grabbed it, also would be great. I did a 4th of July stack I think, last year and I found a red, white, I had red, white and blue, but anyway, all right. And then I found this book, which is called The Eagle Hunters. This is a true story of the girl who soared beyond expectations. This one was $17.99. So listen to this. At age 13, a Shalpen Nergaev achieved something that forever changed not only her life, but her community. And so eagle hunters date back thousands of years, but today only a few hundred exist in Mongolia and the other main eagle hunting regions. The majority of the hunters are men taught by their fathers who were taught by their fathers, but Ashelpin grew up around eagles and always had a connection with them. So when she asked her father to train her, he said yes. She unknowingly jo joined an ancient tradition of women warriors. So it's a true story. So I didn't buy it. But now I'm thinking I kind of want to read it. It's a super easy, easy read. I'm thinking about sending it to Moses. It's just a super easy, easy read. And there's pictures in here of the actual girl. I mean, it's like super cool story. Okay, so um, so I grabbed that just because that looked like a phenomenal story. And then, um, then I found, now I gotta tell you this story. So Marcus and I will often, we watch movies a lot. Like we, like um, it could be on the weekend or sometimes just we'll eat dinner and then go in and watch a movie. We only stream, so we don't have cable TV, so we only stream. And so this movie, came on and it was called Leave the World Behind. And it was a finalist for the National Book Award. Now we watched the movie, I thought it was an awful, I didn't like the movie at all actually, to be quite honest, I didn't like the movie. But when I saw the title, I'm like, that's not a normal title, I'm like, that can't, is that the book? I mean, is that the, the story that we just watched What I thought was, I thought it was bad. You can watch it if you want to. Um, so this isn't about telling you that it was a good story and you should watch it. This is about, it was a uh, was a stupid movie, I thought. And um, and 
it was just stupid. And it didn't make sense. But when I saw this, I was like, wait, but if it, that's the movie, so I read this in here, and I'm, sure enough, it's the movie. This was $27.99. Now, the reason I bought, I bought it was because we had a discussion at our local watering hole. For those of you who don't know, like I have a local watering hole that we go into all the time. It's like where all our friends go. And so we had this discussion with a few people about this movie who they had watched it. And so this is, I'm gifting this to, to somebody. Um, first of all, she, who has not yet seen the movie. I bought two of them. She hasn't yet seen the movie, so I'm, done. I'm giving you this book. Read it. It won't take long. This, this is a day read, right? And then, uh, and then watch the movie and tell me what we think. And then I'm going to read the other copy, and then I'm going to pass it on to one of the people that did watch the movie. Because now I'm curious. Like, I want to read the book, see if it even comes close to as bad as the movie was. There's a reason to buy a book, huh? Oh, my gosh, Amy. Like, I can't, you want to see, you don't want to see the movie, Effingham. Cows die in it, literally. Yeah, okay, so you don't want to see it. Lots of things die in it. All right, so then um, into the dish area, I don't know. This is um, a microfiber dish drying mat. So I don't know this brand, Home with a Heart. And it doesn't say... It doesn't have a made by, um, it says it's made in China. I didn't see that before, but anyway, I'm like, where does this one come from? I don't know, but I got it because I need a new drying mat at the camper. So I was like, I'm pr this looks like a brand name. It's definitely not Dollar Tree. This isn't any of their things. So I don't know what it is. Home with the heart. I should have looked it up. I didn't. Let's go down the man aisle because we should. All right, wood glue, just because, because I use a lot of wood glue. Um, zip ties, just because, because I use a lot of zip ties. This tool, I've already used it. See that? It has paint on it, because I already used it. If you watched my Totally Easy Tuesday and my Totally Easy Dollar Tree Crafts, this is what I was using. So instead of using painter's tape, you just use this and you go along with it. It's kind of easy, actually. It's a great way to do it, a lot less time. So I grabbed that. And then the final thing that I got in the man's aisle, I mean... This is it, the man's aisle, it's all crafting stuff. Of course it is, as is the caulk. Caulk, 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 okay, we're not doing this game right now, are we? Mm -mm. So, um, they were selling, and I haven't seen them in a while, and I really hope I come across them again, is little tiny glass squares. Did you guys see those by any chance? I hauled them, I've hauled them, I've shown them to you, and they're just little tiny tiles, glass tiles. And so I wanna make a tray, but I need the caulk, the caulk, mm. Wow, don't say that, Amy. And so I was like, I gotta grab this. Now, last week I bought the kind that goes in the gun because I wasn't sure I would find this, but then I found this. So yeah, so, so I gave the other one to Marcus. Okay, this is not a very long haul, but there's some good ideas in here. So I wanna talk about this. I wanted to do a challenge where it was like you copy somebody else's craft, you know? It's um, recreation inspiration. I think is what it's called. Uh, I didn't do it because I didn't have the right supplies to do this one thing that I wanted to do. So then it got me thinking when I was at the Dollar Tree and I saw this frame. And so these are just like a, these are four, four by six pictures in here. But I mean, this is probably a good, you know, 20 by eight or something. I don't know, it doesn't matter. But I bought them because I just want the frame pieces so I can take, and piece it together, cut it and piece it together to make a frame for this one sign that I wanted to copy that somebody else. It was um, Our Grey House, I think, made it. I think she was the one who made it. Is it Erin from Our Grey House? Somebody remind me. Anyway, um, she made a really cute farm house sign. And I was like, oh, I wanna recreate that. But I didn't have the things to make a frame. And so I thought I would try it with this. And I'm hoping it'll work. Obviously, I know I can take this apart but they're plastic, they're not wood. So then you have to be really careful about if you cut and cut it down at all. And I need a hacksaw. I can't find my Dollar Tree hacksaw. I don't know where it is. Okay, so then um, I know Easter is almost over and I am completely done doing Easter crafts except for the video that you're gonna get on Sunday. You're getting this early on Friday because I have a challenge tomorrow called the Thrift Flip Challenge. And then Sunday, you're getting a Easter tear tray, which is really cute. You should come back and watch that. So, okay, so I'm not doing any more Easter's after that. They're all done. All the crafts are done. I'm just putting video together. But I go in there, and what did I find? What? The carrots again. And I was like, wait a second. 
These aren't the same carrots I had. I think it was this one that I didn't have. So there was four of them. Okay, I bought them again. Why? I don't know. To throw in my Easter stuff for next year because I already did a craft with these this year. Hold on, I'm gonna grab it. I was right. So it was super cute. I just took the three carrots and I tied them in a bunch and gave them a little sign. But, um, and I married some ribbon with some burlap. So super cute. So, but see, I didn't have this one. I wouldn't have done a bunch of four anyway. You know, you know, I won't do even numbers. But I grabbed them because I was like, well, maybe I'll give them away next year, like as a, a giveaway for next Easter. So I just bought them. I'll stick them in my Easter box, which is basically empty. I'm so proud of myself. I went through almost all of my Easter craft stuff, except for there's quite a few signs. But anyway, I mean, it was just like, yeah. You want a carrot? <laughs> You want a carrot? Do cows like carrots? You're not a horse, okay, I don't know. Anyway, all right, so I found those. And I was super shocked to see them this late in season, right? This is the kind of stuff that comes out early and then you never see it. But again, I went into a store and you guys, one of the things, if, if you live in an area where there's more than one Dollar Tree, you'll start to know them, okay? So if it's in a lower, this is just these are just the things that I have come across. If it's in a lower economic area, Sometimes the random food items, which are really good food items, will be there longer just because it's not a, um, it's probably not as wide a palette for the locals right there, right? No, I'm not making any statement about that. It's just fact. It's just not, you know, we're not eating oysters. I won't eat them either. Um, and then if you go to a store that's understaffed, which there's a lot of them, and you get to know the cycle of it, their stuff ends up coming out late. And so that's why stuff like this happens. Um, it's, it's just randomly weird. If you go to an area where there's a larger elder community, you're gonna find less books. But if it's in a more um, like apartment area where you have more, it's a more youthful crowd, there's more books because they're not buying the books. It's just, it's so weird how it goes. I've like, I've gotten it down pretty well. All right, so the final thing that I'm gonna show you, so just get to know your Dollar Trees. Now, if you live in an area where you only have one Dollar Tree, I totally get it. Just find out when their truck shows up and then always go on the day when they're a volunteer to unload boxes. I don't wanna you, but anyway. Okay, so the final thing that I found is this. It's called Space Tape. You know what it is? It's alien tape, and it is not a buck 25. I think the cheapest I found this was $4 on Amazon. And the alien tape, actual alien tape is more. This is just, you know. So I bought three boxes of them. But I'm just, I'm actually going to open a box. I really want to show you guys what, by the way, this is so good. Mmm. I mean, I feel my metabolism just going right now. <laughs> okay, no. All right. This is what it looks like. So this is only a three foot roll, right? So it's a very small roll. And when you open this, it's like, it's like a double, it's, it's so weird, it's like gel, but it's double sided. So you can hang things on the wall with it. But let me tell you, it can be a pain in the tahuti to get it off once it's on. So see, it's double sided, it's clear, and it is, yeah. You know what this, I feel like this would be really good for is when you're putting things, I lived in California, born and raised in California, right? In California, you always had to be super aware of earthquakes. So some of you, I'm sure, live where there's earthquakes. So it's a great thing to put on little, you know, things that are sitting on your shelves that are decorative and you don't want them bouncing off. Just a thought. Um, also, you know, just for hanging things, it's got shows. And another good use for it is rugs so they don't slip. So my only problem with that is, this is just me personally, my only problem with that is, is that then, when I want to mop or whatever, <laughs> rock is really on the floor and I can't get it up. So it just depends, but there are lots of uses for it. I just got three of them, and um, in hindsight, I was like, because I hadn't found them, and they have been around, just not at my Dollar Tree. See, that's what I'm saying. And East Coast to West Coast to anywhere in between, how they send it out, gosh knows, I don't think there's a formula. I think it's just like, well, these are the closest pallets. Let's send them to Arizona. You know, I mean, I don't know how it goes, but I've been seeing them for a while, but I just hadn't found them. So I only bought three. And then when I left, I was like, that was dumb, Amy, because for Christmas next year, 
was giving anyway i was like it would have gone great with the family gifts and but if i um i'll probably see it again or if not well then there's that okay all right so that's my haul see i told you not a very big haul so but there you go no nothing for cows oh yes happy saint patrick's day this coming weekend thank you effingham so it's hanging out of your mouth he's got wait you guys want to see like literally he's got saint patty's day hanging out of his mouth there we go say hello there we go okay so he has saint patty's hanging out of his mouth all right um, so yeah, happy St. Patrick's Day this weekend, you guys. I will have a video. It's going to be Easter tear tree on St. Patrick's Day. Well, whatever. That's fine. Okay, so I'll see you back here for that. And also on Saturday, my thrift flip, which is really good, by the way. So you should definitely come back and see that one. Okay, bye, besties. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, a great week, a great life. And as always, I want to hold your hand down every aisle at the DT. <laughs> Happy hunting at your local Dollar Tree from your singing crafty crafter. We'll see you next time, bestie. Thanks for watching. Don't forget, thumbs up or hitchhike, whichever way you want to go. Please leave a comment down below if there's anything here that you're going to be looking for. Maybe the maybe the alien tape, space tape, space tape. Oh, by the way, wait, before I forget, I thought of a really cute idea. So the Space Jam socks are out right now, and this is space tape. I thought it would be super cute to collect like space things for a dad and say, Dad, you're 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 far out in space or you're you're as far out of space or something like that. And do like a whole space themed thing. There was my idea. Okay, for Father's Day. All right, everybody, because it's coming up, you know. Um, I forgot what I was saying, but that's okay. We'll see you next time. Please leave a comment. That was it. And if you consider subscribing, if you had a good time today. We'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. Bye.